This is comfy UI inside of Blender, which allows me to do really cool things like take this 3D environment and apply any skin to it. Not only that, it'll take liberties and actually fill out any of the blank spaces in the 3D environment. All of this is controlled by Comfy UI right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. This is the NVIDIA RTX 3D guided generative AI blueprint. It's a ready to go reference sample that people can use as a starting point for things to build using NIM microservices. This is completely open source, completely free and running completely locally. And with this specific blueprint, creators can use simple 3D objects laid out in Blender and guide the design of it using simple image generation with prompts. NVIDIA partnered with me on this video for two reasons. One, they wanted me to make a tutorial showing you how to set this up with NVIDIA NIM microservices. And to be frank, it's not easy, but I'm gonna show you step by step. And number two, NVIDIA is looking for your feedback. They wanna hear what you think about these open source projects. They want you to build on top of it. They want you to fork the repo. I'll drop all of the links down below so you can do that. But yeah, most of all, they wanna know what you think. So let me show you a couple of the things that you can do with this, and then I'm gonna show you how to install it. So we have the first scene, which is a 3D representation of kind of a little town with a fountain in the middle and here is the prompt. So I just copied it to Notepad to make it a little bit easier to read. A stunning professional photo of a quaint village in the mountains in winter. A snow-covered fountain is visible in the center of the town square. And that's what we're seeing here. But what if we wanted to change that to a hyper-modern town? Let's see what that looks like. All right, there it is. Hyper-modern version. What if we want it in cartoon style? There it is. All right. And last... Let's just put a boat right in the middle. So I just placed the boat asset right here and changed the prompt slightly. There it is. And remember, this is 3D, so we can just simply rotate the environment and get another angle. Let me show you. Okay, here's one from the top down. Let's hit run and see it again. All right, there it is. So the possibilities are truly endless. Let me show you how to install this. Now, all of the code and the instructions are on this GitHub page, which I'm showing you now, and I'll drop a link to this in the description below. The minimum requirements to run this are pretty substantial. Let me show you. You need one of these GPUs, so an RTX 5090, 5080, 4090, 4090 laptop, 4080, or RTX 6000. That's what I'm running it on. And... 48 gigabytes of system RAM. So if you have that, you can get this up and running. And keep in mind, they're working on making this entire flow more efficient, so more GPUs will be supported soon. So the first thing you're gonna do is scroll down a little bit and look for this link right here. Download the NIM prerequisite installer. And it's going to download the zip file, which basically sets the majority of things up for you automatically. Once you do that, you're gonna walk through the installation. So NIM setup, you're gonna hit continue, agree and continue, and it's going to download the AI workbench, install it. I already have it downloaded, so it might be faster than normal. And you're done. Go ahead and click close. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is Git, and that's version control. So you're going to open up PowerShell. You're going to copy this command right here. Win get install dash dash ID git dot git and paste it in. Hit enter, which will download it and install it for you. Now it already found a version. I already have it and it's trying to update it instead. All right. Once you see this successfully installed, it's done. Next, you're going to need to install Microsoft Visual C++ and the command is right here. Same page as before. So win get install Microsoft.vc redist.2015 plus.x64. Just go ahead and copy it. Switch back to your PowerShell, paste it in, hit enter. So for me, I already installed it. It's not gonna try to install it again, but for you, it'll probably take its time if you don't already have it installed. Next, you're gonna need Blender. So you can download Blender from this link right here or just Google Blender, it is free. Blender is super simple to install. Just go through the install process and that's it. So the next thing you're gonna need is a hugging face key. And the reason you need that is because this entire flow from Comfy UI into Blender uses the Flux model, which is a diffusion model, really popular, open source, very easy to use. But you do have to download that and you do so through Hugging Face. So log into Hugging Face, click this little icon in the top right. You're going to hit access tokens right there. Then you're gonna click this create new token button right there. You're going to select the read. You only need read, you don't need to overcomplicate it. I just name it NVIDIA 
comfy and create tokens. So then just copy your token and have it ready. Now, one thing you're going to need to do is accept the terms of service on each of these models. There's a list of models on the instructions page. All of these, you're going to need all of them. All right, next, you're going to clone the repo that is actually this entire framework. So right here, get clone NVIDIA AI Blueprint 3D Guided Gen AI RTX. Go ahead, click copy. And so wherever you want this located, go ahead and paste it, hit enter, and it's going to download it to that folder. Next, you're going to CD into that new folder that you just downloaded. All right, now we're in there. Then navigate to that folder within your finder window, look for setup.bat, double click it, and let it run. This will probably take a while because it is downloading a ton of data to your local computer. This is downloading the models so you can have them locally. All right, when it's done, you're going to get this output, ComfyUI path and Python path. And so don't close that window, keep it open because you're gonna need both of those things. Next, open Blender. Once you have Blender open, you're gonna to go to the edit dropdown and then preferences. Then you're gonna click add-ons and then you're gonna look for this comfy UI Blender AI node right here. Make sure it's checked. Scroll down and here is where you're going to paste the comfy UI path and the Python path from that previous screen. So I already did it. I have it right here. I'm not gonna to touch it and that's it. Then the last thing you're going to need to do is simply open the blueprint that they provided. So we're going to go to file open, then within document slash blender, you might have to look around for this, but that's where it put it for me. You're going to look for this guided gen AI BP dot blend file and go ahead and click open and that's it. And it'll take a few seconds, hopefully not too long. And we have it open right here. So let me tell you something. I had never used blender before. I am a complete novice and I am learning, but it's pretty straightforward and there's a ton of tutorials online. You can also just ask AI, of course. So what you're seeing down here, this is comfy UI. Everything else is blender. Now, one thing I like to do is go up to this window drop down, hit toggle system console, and we can actually see everything going on in the background. And that's nice because it gives me confidence that I actually see things progressing. Now, before you do anything else, what I like to do is hit this red button here, launch connect to comfy UI. And when you do that, it's going to take a little while, especially the first time you do it. And what this is doing is it's spinning up the NIM, making sure that Comfy UI and Blender are both connected to it. And this all happens before you run your first generation. Now, while that's going, let me show you a couple things. Down here is where you'll see the different assets that you can play around with. So you can simply grab one and drag it in there like so. And I just heard a little beep, which means that the connection to the Comfy UI server is ready. So here's pending and running zero of zero because we have none running. I added a nice second fountain there. And before I do that, I'm going to show you the rest. So down here, you can zoom in, you can scroll around. The prompt that you're going to be adjusting is found right here in this 001 panel. As I said before, what I like to do is copy it, go over to a text editor, paste it in and edit the prompt from here. You can make the prompt anything you want and it will reflect in the output. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. The model really likes to adhere to the prompt. And so if I simply dragged a boat right here and it didn't make sense in the scene, it's not going to look like a boat. It's going to look like a fountain shaped like a boat. So you would explicitly want to say, and there's a yacht in the middle of the town on water. And if you don't, I'll show you what happens. So there's that boat that looks like a weird fountain in the middle of the town. So if you want it to be a boat, make sure you say boat in the prompt. So there we go. I fixed it up and now you see it's an actual yacht. So all of this is completely open source, completely free, completely local. Once you download everything, you can run it locally with no internet. And I want to give a special thanks to the team at NVIDIA who worked with me, showed me how to do all of this. It wasn't easy to get going the first time, but honestly, now that I've done it a couple times, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully this tutorial helps you. And again, NVIDIA is looking for you to provide them with feedback on what you think about this and their other blueprints. Drop your thoughts below in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.